So here's a quick video to maybe help someone else out who finds himself in the same predicament I am, which is needing to reassemble um, some keys on a MacBook Air 2014, early 2014. So here's partly reassembled. It has the two plastic pieces put together and married back to the metal tabs on the keyboard. Now these little pieces right here, these four, one, two, three, four, are where the plastic pieces hook in. And so, um, see if I can turn it a little bit to give you a view of the fact that those pieces are actually little hooks. So that part right there hooks upward and th these ones right here hook down. Let's see here. So here, are the two plastic pieces that are going to make all this happen. Um, these two guys. So step one is to actually marry them to each other. Um, the first thing to note here is that there are small tabs and notches on the sides of the holes here. And these are the holes that actually hook into those little hooks on the keyboard that we, we saw just a minute ago. So see this guy right here. Notice that the notch is up. That's important because it's got to fit under the, the metal hook on the keyboard. So that notch has got to be up on, uh, on both of these pieces. So that's the outer one and then this is the inner one. And notice that these holes are going side to side, and these ones are going the other way. So let's turn it. And again, those notches have got to be up as we reassemble it. Otherwise, it's not going to go into the keyboard properly. So notches up next to those holes. So now, the next step is that these two pieces have to be married to each other, meaning that these little tabs right here have to fit into the corresponding holes. Now you can see that there are kind of notches on the outside here. You can't actually just push this guy in. I didn't have any luck doing that. Um, I actually have to put, angle him and then push this into this hole and then push that one into that hole. Um, and this is where a pair of tweezers would be handy. Uh, but you know, do what you can. Okay, so here we go. So there's the hole that we're going to put, fit this guy into. Now remember, those notches have, have got to be up on both of them. So there, that one is in on that side. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that side is in. And so now we're going to work to get the other side in. Now to get the other side in, you're going to want to actually pull the outer one apart a little bit, just like that. And I just use my fingernail to pry up and fit it in. You see, now those two pieces are together. Uh, once again, just a reminder that these notches have got to be pointing upwards. Right? So see the gap there on that one and on the other one. Well, you can't see it as well because it's already in there, but uh, those are the same boat. They're also notches upwards. Okay, so the tr trickiest step is done. Let's bring the laptop back on. We've got the one that's already in. Here we go, there's a focus. On this side, this guy's already in. Now we're going to bring the other one in. And this part's actually fairly trivial. You see that these ones are, are wider, these two notched holes. Right here are wider, and those two are going to hook from this direction. They're going to hook in 
under those. So that's that's our next step. So I'm gonna hook that in. Move the lights so you can see what I'm doing a little bit. Okay. Hook those in. Just like that. So now these front two have kind of slid in under the the metal tabs. And now the back two need to be pushed in, but we can pretty much just press those down. I find it easier if you push kind of this direction, because that keeps the first two in. And then now those two have kind of slid in. So now these two are also hooked. Um, and then this next part is just sort of a line and snap. The backs of the keys have small tabs that are going to hook on to the key. So these two are the top two. Those are going to fit into these two notches, right? Or these, these two tabs are going to fit into those two lockers, cleaners, more jiggers, whatever. So now that we've got the tab in place, the tabs in place, everything's aligned, you just sort of push down and it will... Hooray! That one's back. And now this one, same game. This part is actually uh, fairly trivial. You just sort of align the key like that, and then you just press straight down onto it. There you go. And now that one's back. There you have it.